with Sparkle and Sprinkle, and I am going to show you this week how to watercolor with your Nuvo Crystal Drops. So we were inspired by this awesome card by Fresh by Jess, and she used watercolor here, but I'm going to show you a fun technique doing that same thing, but using your Crystal Drops as a watercolor. So we also have a challenge for you this week. I need you to help me name that glitter color. It currently has no name. It's just called Mystery Glitter. So if you can do me a favor in the comment section below between now and October 10th, 2016, we need your help. Add your name in there. We'll send you some glitter as a thank you and you have bragging rights forever saying I named that color Sparkle and Sprinkle. So thank you so much. I hope you enjoy this really fun stamp set and this awesome technique as an alternative on how to use people stamps without coloring in the whole person. Thanks so much for watching, enjoy. All right, so using the inspiration from Fresh by Jess, Jessica's card, I am gonna put a little Demo Donna spin on it. Now she used our Nuance watercolors, which are really fun, very vibrant, but I'm gonna actually show you how to watercolor with our Nouveau Crystal Drops. So this is gonna be a fun technique utilizing something that I've used in the past. So I'm just going to squeeze out some of my crystal drop. And this is a rhubarb crumble. And I've got a wet brush. And I am just going and watering down my crystal drop. And then I'm gonna create a brush stroke. And there is no wrong way to do this little brush stroke background technique. Very simple, if you want it to darken up, you can layer it, you can do this on watercolor paper. I'm just gonna be doing it on regular white cardstock, but if you wanna do it on watercolor paper, you can do that as well. Now I'm taking my edge of my brush and I'm doing the edges of the paper, and then I'm gonna take my brush again and just kind of finish up with that brush stroke look. So going along the same direction as my scribble lines in the beginning, I'm just taking my drier brush and creating that brush stroke look along the edges. So there, now I have finished up my background. So this is pretty much all the coloring that you're gonna do and yet you are stamping a person stamp. I know, so exciting because I'm sure like there are some people out there just like me and the thought of coloring in a human being for a card is just terrifying because I think about all the work and all the skill that goes into it and you know it's doable it's just you're always trying to accomplish this certain look and I like things like this where hey it could be different every time and still look really cool and be done with different colors so I hope you enjoy this fun technique as well so I just sped up the drying time of my cardstock and now I'm gonna take my stamp she is so cute. I absolutely love this stamp set. This uh, new designer, Bugaboo, has some adorable girls out, and I'll show you some other stamp sets that we have by her as well that go along the same look. Um, I'm using my Stazon to stamp up my stamp, to ink up my stamp. And now I'm just going to stamp that down. Give it a good amount of pressure to make sure it stamps out nice and even. Pop that up. And now we are going to be doing the fun part. I'm going to take my glue pen and I am going to be using one of our brand new microfine glitters. This is dem uh, denim, not demo. That would be funny. And I am going to do her jeans first. So I am simply just tracing over her jeans. So you can go in and add more detail, which is fun. You could do a stripe. You could do polka dots. It's really cool when doing this technique coloring with glitter because you can actually add more elements to it that aren't really even there. So I'm gonna do her jeans and then she has these cute little stripes on her shirt. So I am tracing over those as well. So I did the stripes on her shirt here and then just the outline of her jeans. So now I'm going to take that denim glitter and just sprinkle that over her pants and the stripes on her shirt. It's such a fun, pretty new blue. Look at that, just so cute. And it's really simple. I'm gonna add a couple more colors to this, but even if you just wanted to go very plain and basic, you could slap that on your card back and be done and just have a little bit of sparkle. 
So next I'm going to use an oldie but goodie. I'm going to use Dogwood Rose, which I've used a lot in the past. It's one of my favorites. I absolutely love that color. And I'm going to do the same thing that Jessica did. And I'm going to do the leash here and the bow of the dog and the bow of her hair and her shoes. And then we are going to do her hair. And I have a fun challenge for all of you out there. This is participating time. I know. I know you like to just sit and watch and be that silent, scrappy watcher, but I'm getting you involved this week. Calling all creative people. Come to the table and help us out. All right, bow, bow, leash. I'm going to accent her little boot on her heel, her heel and the laces and that little bow. And now we're going to sprinkle some dogwood. Tap that off. I just love that color. It's so pretty. And that's also a micro fine glitter. So now we've got the extra pop. Oh, she's so cute. And then I am going to be using a brand new color. It is currently called Mystery Color on our website. We need your help. I'm going to show you. I'll do a quick scribble the large glue pen so you can see what it looks like on white paper so this is that color it's a beautiful like burgundy purpley gold it's just so gorgeous but I can't figure out what to call it so I need your help comment right down there below demo Donna the mystery color should be called blank fill in the blank name that color and then you could say I named that color plus we will send you some as a thank you some of your named color. So here it is. Here's your chance to get involved. Help me name that color. All right, and I am going to add this color to her hair because I think it will be really fun. An auburny kind of goldy color, which will be pretty. So I'm not going to go over every strip of hair. I'm just going to highlight a couple strands. She's got a lot of hair. All right. And sprinkle some of my mystery color, but not for long, because I know you guys are going to help me out. Tap that off. And now she's got adorable colored in hair. The hair, bow, the hair bow is done. I don't know why I can't say bow today. And then to finish that off, I'm going to take my color drop, my crystal drop, and I'm gonna do the four points just like Jessica did. And then with my card here, I mounted it onto some mirror cardstock so you can see how fun that is. And now a trick whenever you're doing something that you've watercolored on, I made sure my terrific tape on the back was all the way up to all the edges. So see how that's not curled at all, that's nice and flat and adhered to the cardstock? That's what you wanna make sure you do. So, and what Jess did is she did the golden wheat as the hair, which looks really pretty too. So you could see how you can really have fun with that, add different colors. And if you want to learn how to do that background, that is our video called Glitter, Stencil Glitter Background. So scroll down a lot on our videos and you'll see that. All right, so as promised, I'm going to show you some other cards and stamps by Bugaboo and this is one that we just used and this is another very simple way to do stamp people without needing to color in so this is the digital image and this is awesome and this card was done by Belinda so thanks great job Belinda and she did the crystal drops as well and I love the accent there with the paw prints and then we have another one by Jess really cool and she went and colored that all in nice job way to go and did the uh, really fun crystal drops there too and this one here is by Diane so just showing another fun way and look at how different they all look here's another really cool stamp set and this one is called crafting is exercise really cute just a lot of fun use the watercolor background there as well and that is this stamp set here once again by Bugaboo Really fun there. Get Your Craft On by Bugaboo. Love it. It's just all jumbo, the marker, the ribbon, the buttons. And then I showed you this one last week. So if you like that style, the tall 
ladies doing different fun things, check out the Bugaboo stamp set collection on our website. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget, we need your help to name that color. So comment below. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks again and have a fantastic week, my glitter groupies.